When I was on my way from Brackettville, Fort Clark Springs, Texas, going to Lano, I was doing the little towns as I was going and I forgot to do Junction, Texas. So we're gonna do that right now. We're coming into Junction, Texas at about 9.50 a.m. on my way back to Fort Clark Springs, my home base there. And the temperature shows to be 58 degrees. It's 9.50 a.m. Junction, Texas, the big city of population 2,451. Now 2,452 because I'm here. And away we go. Yeah, it's a neat little town, a lot of limestone rock around, and they've got a state park nearby called South Llano River State Park. It's a place where turkeys breed. Gasoline shows to be here, uh, $2.95 a gallon, that's about 30 cents a gallon higher than Marble Falls, Texas. Yeah, these are both on both sides are like truck stops, you know, gas station stuff. But this one over here has Tesla charging points. This Chevron here on the right, they've got about six or seven. Yeah, and there's not a car there. Well, it doesn't mean a whole lot, does it? I see, it was two ninety five there, right? Is that what I said for gasoline? And then a, under, go under Interstate Ten right here. And the gasoline price drops to 277. How is that? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, it's two 277 over here. So yeah, just remember that. Go on the other side of the interstate. Uh, diesel's 425 a gallon. That's a stick. That's at a pilot station on the left. There's a Sonic, and then we go right on around into town. the main part of town, the downtown part of Junction, Texas. We are 50 miles from Rock Springs, 121 miles from Del Rio, and we're just crossing the Llano River here, the South Llano River. They have an RV park there too. I think it's free, I'm not sure, it's run by the city. Speed limit is 45, I'm going 42, so we're okay on that. There's a barbecue place up here on the right here called Lums, right here, and they've got good barbecue. I'm not sure what their hours are, but I'm told they, I've, I've gotten barbecue there before and I thought it was good, but you know, I'm not really a out of the sewer or connoisseur of fine barbecue, even though I've eaten a lot of it in my lifetime being in Texas. That was a real treat. Uh, sometimes my dad would come home for lunch uh, and bring up barbecue from Smolix in Kennedy, Texas. Smolix Barbecue. That was back in the 50s, 1950. Neat little town. Right off Interstate 10. I don't know what kind of grocery store. Oh, they have a, they have a Lowe's grocery store here. A pretty big one, actually. It's called a Lowe's Market down the street there on the left. And, you know, they'll work. That'll work. You know, they're, they're pretty good. I got to take a ride here and go on 377 towards South Llano River State Park, but I go right by it. So now we're going out of, we're going south out of Junction, Texas on a Saturday morning and just cruising along here. I'm getting 20.3 miles per gallon, but I'm, I'm driving slow, 55 miles an hour, no traffic. In traffic, I get about two miles to the gallon less, you know. 
but overall I figure 20 it's pretty good nice little rolling hills around here Yeah, I looked at property around here one time, and it was a little too expensive for old dad. Well, the reason is it's convenient to Interstate 10, for one thing, and uh, it's peaceful, quiet living out here in these hills. So what's on my agenda, my plan? Well, I don't really have one. Uh, I have been kind of <coughs> keeping an eye on some property in, uh, out around Alpine and that area. <coughs> you know, if I could find something for a reasonable price, I might relocate out there, but I'd say the chances of that right now are pretty slim because I'm fairly contented with what I've got right now. So here we go to Rock Springs. We'll be there about um, 11 o'clock because I'm going to stop and have lunch on the way. I got me a big salad at uh, HEB at Marble Falls. Uh, yesterday, and I'll have that for lunch today. Let's just go a little bit. I can't really think of a whole lot to say about Junction, Texas, other than it's on my way to Lano, the way I go, Lano, Texas. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just, guys, I, as you know, I mean, I do change uh, things often. But the reason is, is that variety uh, of life gives me something to do, you know, something to look forward to. And, you know, whenever you're, you've been retired as long as I have, and living in RVs as long as I have, then, you know, changing RVs or changing locations is just an easy thing to do. And for me, uh, I find variety to be the spice of life, and I do enjoy uh, living. You know, I live in different places, you know, and, and that's fine, you know. Do I want to go back to any of the places I've lived before? Not really. Been there, done that. So, in a beautiful blue sky. Yeah, the temperature, I think I've been told you already, is, well, now it's showing 60 degrees outside. The high today is supposed to be close to 80 in uh, uh, Fort Clark Springs, my home base. And, uh, yeah, soon, soon, I, I'm going to say soon, I don't know how soon, in a few weeks, uh, we'll probably kind of head on out toward New Mexico. I may go through uh, Alpine, Fort Davis, check some things out, and uh, leisurely go out there. I've got the New Mexico State Park Pass, and living in my Class B RV has been quite enjoyable, and so I may just, you know, Stay in, stay in the traveling mode, you know? Why not? And what else have I got to do? You know, I can go back to Fort Clark Springs, ride my golf cart, ride my three-wheeler, and lay on a big queen-size bed for a few days. But, you know, it's, it's just living in a bigger place, you know? Uh, I don't enjoy it any more than I enjoy living in my class B RV, it's the same thing for me. It, the, the lack of space in the class B doesn't bother me at all, you know? Uh, and I've got that kind of rack on the back with that cover bag thing to put stuff in, and that worked out really well, guys, I'll tell you that. It, uh, it's a small uh, rack you put on the back of your car, fits in the hitch thing, it's called a hitch rack. And uh, yeah, it, it comes in real handy because uh, that way I get some stuff out of the RV that otherwise would be on the floor of uh, the passenger side of my vehicle or in the shower area until I got to my location. But this way the RV is 
uh, all cleaned out, and, and I just like that better for me. Yeah, but I just, you know, to me right here, yeah, I, I'm in heaven. Well, I guess heaven. I don't know. I guess I feel good, and uh, you know, just cruising down the highway, 55 miles an hour, and uh, got my refrigerator with stuff in it for lunch, and yeah, it, and I had me a snack, and I uh, had me a Dr Pepper, and you know, just cruising down the highway, me, myself, and I, you know. It ain't bad to me. You know, some people ask if I get lonesome or lonely or whatever. No, I, I actually I don't. You know, I'm my own best friend, and uh, you guys kind of help me entertain myself, and we can talk back and forth through comments, here at 30, and yeah, it's, it's a good life for me. Uh, and, and uh, you know, but it wasn't an accident. I actually planned it and it worked, which is good. And I've got some plans still, you know, and I'll probably check out of this world some plans on the table, you know, and I, I like that. I keep saying, you know, why am I saying, you know? No, because you do know. So anyway, guys, we'll let this go. Uh, uh, we'll let it go a few more minutes. Why? It's just a pretty drive, you know? And the sun is not shining. Well, it is shining on the deal a little bit. Let's see if I can do something. Well, I there I can. I put that. I stopped it. Yeah, we're okay. We're going uh, south, so we're okay. Ten o'clock in the morning on Highway 377 South, headed home. Well, it, it, it's a, it's another place to be. You can call it for me home. But it's just another place to be. Do I like it there? Yeah, no problem at all. Could I live there a long time? Yeah, sure. My place in Cloud Crop, same way. I mean, if, if I got a place out in West Texas or around Alpine or somewhere, would I sell the port to me, the Cloud Crop property? I don't know. I have to think about that, you know? The uh, reason is, uh, it's a pretty neat place, and uh, for $1,500 a year, uh, I don't know, that's kind of hard to give up, right? Because it gets cool, to be, excuse me, it gets hot in the Alpine, Fort Davis area, it does, in the summer. Well, it, it's hot, 90, you know, it'll get up into the low 90s. Usually, I mean, that's not, it may get higher than that now, I don't know. But that's about, that's the way it was when I lived out there years ago. And it probably hadn't changed much. But yeah, the, the, the good thing about uh, the Cloudcroft property, it's in the mountains, man. You know, it's a totally different uh, environment, totally. You know, you got the big trees, mountains, uh, uh, the mornings are just cool and crisp, you know, like 40 degrees in the summer, 50 degrees. Afternoons, 70-ish, uh, 70 75. Rarely does it get up to 80 in the summer. And uh, is that good? Yep. And, you know, you got great shopping right down the mountain, out of the garden. So it's got some real pluses. Now, you get around Alpine, Fort Davis, uh, your, your cost of living is going to go up 20% across the board. Because groceries are going to be higher, beer is higher, wine's higher, a lot higher. Uh, uh, yogurt, they don't even have the yogurt I have. And, uh, you know, it's the price of just general groceries, you know, avocados and lettuce and stuff is, is higher, you know. And gasoline's about 30 cents a gallon higher, or 40. And, uh, you know, so, you know, but that's the price of living there. You know, it's a very remote area, a uh, small population town, and so yeah, that's just what you got to pay to live there. So either, either you do it or you don't. The nearest grocery shopping of any uh, lower price would be, the nearest would be Fort Stockton, which is about 90 miles from Fort Davis, and are uh, 150 to Odessa, Texas, you know, 300 mile round trip, I don't know about that, or a 200 mile round trip, I don't see how you come out of that, 
and then other things you can order from Amazon, you know, like I eat chia seeds and, and that flaxseed powder and you know, a few other things I can order from Amazon. Even though Amazon is not that cheap, you know, a lot of people think that they're cheap, they're not. You know, it's compared to Walmart, their prices are higher. What you get with Amazon can be you order it two or three days later it shows up and uh, you know for those of you that pay for Amazon Prime you know you're paying for that privilege I don't know how much Amazon Prime is a year but it ain't cheap I don't know probably what is it 80 bucks a year now I don't know maybe it's a hundred so guys, I'll end this video. We get around these mountains here or hills, what do you want to call it? But I'll post this video today. I am on my way back to my home base. Uh, tomorrow, comment call will be a little later. Why? Because the uh, upload speeds at Fort Clark Springs are good. They're just not as good as what I had. You know, I get like. 10 to 20 upload in Fort Clark Springs at Lano uh, City Park, Lano, Texas. The Wi-Fi, I was getting 40 to 60 uh, megabits per second uploads. So it took about 10 minutes or less. You know, boom, there's comment call. You know? But having said that, ladies and gentlemen, thumbs up, car paid in, adios, bye-bye, buy anything you want. Uh, oh, my vision's fine so far. You know, vision's okay, baby. Uh, use the Amazon link. Yeah, it's, it's free. Use it, you know. Drink plenty of water, stretch, walk, stand guard at the door of your mind, man. Very important now. And never worry about what you cannot change. You know, just let that go. Adios, amigos. Enjoy your life. Your life. Bye-bye.